Welcome, dear followers, in this episode, we will continue our story, and we saw in the previous episode how the hatred increased between the Bakr and Taglib tribes. And we will see in this episode how events will develop, but before we start, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button so that you can receive all that is new. In the meantime, Al Basis was weaving nets of deceit and deceit to achieve its goals by killing Wyle, so she took the incursion into Jossus's chest with grudges. As for Salem, his position was one of wisdom and deliberation at the time, and he wanted to reduce the intensity of Wyle's anger. So he asked him to calm things down with his cousins in order to preserve the kinship, so it was only from Wyle that, he said to him, you are only chasing women, and by God, if I were killed, you would only take milk by my blood. And the grudges continued to increase little by little until, on that fateful day, women went out to the water resources, and they were accompanied, as usual, by the best knights to protect them from a sudden raid in which the women were taken as captives. And among the knights was Jossas. So they wanted to get water from Shabeth, so Wael caught up with them and prevented them. So they went to the water of Al-Az, and he prevented them. So they reached the water of the Sins, so he prevented them. Jossus said, You expelled our people until you almost killed them with thirst. And Wael answered, We did not prevent them from water except that we were preoccupied with it. Jossus said, this is like what you did to my aunt's camel al basis. Wyle said, I mentioned it. If I found it in a herd other than yours, I would have killed them all. You want to stop me from protecting my land, you idiot. So Jossus sympathized with his horse and stabbed him. Wyle asked Jossus while he was in death throes for a drink of water, but he did not respond to him. So he requested the same request from Amr bin al-Harith, but he did not respond to him, but rather finished him off. Jossas returned home revealing his knees. When his father Mara saw him in this condition, he said by God his knees did not come out, except for a great matter, so he asked him, What is behind you, my son? Jossas said, Behind me, I stabbed stabbed to be preoccupied by the elders of Wyle for a long time. The father asked him again, Did you kill Wyle? He said, Yes. So Mara said, I wish you and your brothers had died before this. The position of Hammam, Jassus's brother, and Al-Zir Salem, regarding the killing of Wyle. And while Hammam, the brother of Jossas, and Salem were busy with the maidservants, drinking wine in the wilderness, as a maidservant on horseback whispered to Hammam what had happened, and told him that his father had sent the horse with her, so that Hammam would flee with her, fearing the wrath of Zer Salem. Al-Zir sensed something strange, so he made him swear by the covenant between them that he would believe what he said and not keep it a secret so he told him that Ajasis had killed Wyle. So Al-Zir underestimated the matter and said, Forget this, your brother is weaker than that. But Hammam stopped drinking and slipped out of the Al-Zir council to return to his family and learn the truth of the matter, it was a catastrophe that Hammam and none of the people expected. The course of Al-Zir Salem's story changed after the killing of his brother Wyle. As for Salem, after he finished drinking, he returned to his clubs, drunk and staggering. He was surprised by the two conquerors. They are between weeping and complaining, grieving over the murdered and amazed at the murderer, revolting against his king, sterilizing his horses and breaking his spear. Then he said to them, You have gone to an evil doctrine. Do you sterilize your horses when you need them? and you broke your weapon when you parted with him. And he said to the women, Save for weeping eyes that weep forever. And he buried his brother, 
and he stayed for a while crying over him, and with lengthy poems lamenting him, and threatening the Bakris until his people despaired of him and accused him of being talkative and not effective, and they said that Weil was right in describing Salem. Mara and his sons returned to the fever after they secured his anger, and when he that reached Salem, he paid attention to war, roll up his arms, gather the limbs of his people, then cut his hair, shorten his clothes, and swear that he will not care about distraction, nor smell good, nor drink wine, nor anoint himself with oil, until he kills for every member of Wiles' body a man from Bakr. And when the women of the neighborhood gathered for Wiles' funeral, they asked his sister to deport Al Jalila. Because in her standing there is gloating and disgraceful. Wiles' sister said to Al Jalila, Oh, this one, get out of our funeral, for you are the sister of our enemy. So Al Jalila went out, and her family received her. And she lived with them for the rest of her life, finding what her family faced from the pain of battles, and the son of Wael Hagras was in her guts. Attempts to stop Zir Salem's revenge for his brother Wael. As for Al Zir, he was burning with pain and vowed to kill all the Bakris. So his people gathered and wanted to reconcile between him and his cousins. They said to him, We see that you should not hasten the war. They said, You must let us discuss the matter. So that we may find a solution that will keep the specter of war away from us and them. So Salem allowed them to discuss the matter even though he had made his decision to go to war in his heart. So a group of the notables of Taglib set out until they came to Mura and said to him, You have committed a great matter by killing the king with a handful of camels and severing the ties of kinship, and we do not want to rush you into war. And we present to you one of three things in which you have a way out, and in which we have satisfaction. Either you send Jossus to us, and we kill him with our friend, and we achieve justice with that, or you give us Hamam, because he is an equal to Weil, or you present yourself to us, and we kill you. And we are satisfied with it. So he was silent for a while, and he stopped answering. Bakr's chief said to him, speak without being disappointed. He said, as for Jossus, he is a young boy of recent age who rode his head, so he fled when he was afraid, and I do not know which country entailed him. As for Hamam, he is the father of ten and the brother of ten, and tomorrow his sons will shout at me and say, you delivered our father for the crime of someone else. As for me, I am not in a hurry to die, but do you accept one of my other sons to kill him by your while, otherwise you will have a thousand camels that you will be guaranteed by a baker. So they got angry and said, we did not come to you so that you would humiliate your sons for us, nor for you to give us milk. So this is how a war began between Al-Zir Salem and the Bakr tribes.